I rebuilt Manchester United with Walt Weghorst. The last time United had a Dutchman leading the line, that was Van Persie. If Weghorst could be half as good as him, that would be incredible. Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How is everyone doing? The main objective of today's video is to rebuild Manchester United and ultimately win the Champions League. Let's go. We're also using Pfeiffer's Realism mod, which updates the league's faces, boots and kits. So now that we've got a new striker, Veghorst, we're going to need to build a team around him. We could do with a new midfielder. Eric Ten Hag is going to go out and sign Frankie De Jong. And we also could do with a right back. We're going to bring in Hakimi from PSG. This is the team going into Season 1. First match of the season, we face Brentford. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of what happened in real life. The 4-0 drumming. Sancho on the counter-attack finds Veghorst. He's been slipped through. Absolutely powers it past Raya to start off the scoring for United just before the 19th minute. The Dutchman is flying away. Another opportunity here by Vegost. Scoring earlier. Winds up. Oh. Anthony to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, another good shot. 1-0 we win. Now, to finance bringing in Frankie De Jong and Hakimi, we're going to have to sell some players. Scott McTominay has been sold to Valencia. And we've also sold Anthony Martial. And, of course, it wouldn't be a United career mode without selling Harry Maguire, of course. He's gone to Watford. Martial's gone to Newcastle. We've also sold a fan favourite, Fred, to Leeds. Moving on now to the Manchester Derby. We go away to the Etihad. Vekost, oh, beats Stones on the breakaway. Nearly gets closed down, tucks it past Edison. And the Dutchman scores in another amazing goal with a great finish. Pep is in the mud. We're tearing up the blue side of Manchester. Anthony flicks through Lindelof, who nearly skies it, hits the roof of the net, and we're 2-0 up. Thanks to Lindelof, an unlikely goal scorer, we get the win. Moving on now, Northwest Derby. We go all the way to Anfield to face Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. 39 minutes in, unfortunately, a favourable ball falls to Diogo Jota, and he manages to smash it past David De Gea. Looking for a quick response. Vegos has been released past Joe Gomez and tucks it neatly past Allison. What a blinder. The Dutchman has hit the ground running since joining Manchester United. Ultimately, the match ends in a 1-1 draw. We end Season 1. Unfortunately, two points behind Liverpool in the title they win. We did, however, go on and win the FA Cup. And Spurs won the Carabao. However, we've made the Europa League. We end the season. Bruno Fernandes with 33 goals. And Vegost, first season at United, scores a whopping 28 goals in all competitions. He ends up becoming United's top goal scorer in the Premier League. Past Fernandes. We've also got an opportunity to double up this season with the Europa League. Match against AS Monaco. Let's go. After winning the FA Cup, narrowly losing the Premier League title by two points, we've got a point to prove. Casemiro on the breakaway. Charging forward from that deep-lying playmaker position. Sends through Vegost. Never fear. Vegost is here. Just for the 10th. Starts off the scoring in the Europa League. We want to try and get our revenge on Villa, Villarreal. Unfortunately, Monaco go up the other end, smashing it past Dubravka. After 127 minutes, the curse continues. Manchester United will be in another penalty shootout in the Europa League. Rashford steps up, converts, hitting it top left bins. Dubravka in goal. He was our Europa League goalkeeper this season. Obviously, David De Gea played a lot in the league. But we have to play Dubravka. 
Sancho steps up and misses. Monaco's turn now. They convert. It's not looking good. It's 1-1. Christian Eriksen. Great to see him back in pretty good form. Smashing it to the right of screen. Monaco. It's saved by Dubravka. Casemiro. Converts straight down the middle. 3-1. United lead. Dubravka with a massive opportunity here to win the Europa League final. Unfortunately, goes the wrong way. Monaco still in at 3-2. It's all to play for. Nubel, the Bayern Munich goalkeeper on loan. Can he stop? Hakimi can. Manchester United might bottle another penalty shootout. Would you believe it? Bodu now to step up. It's saved by Dubravka. And that save wins the Europa League for the Red Devils. Dubravka. The man signed from Newcastle. Our Europa League goalkeeper. Wins us the double. Our first European Cup under Eric Ten Hag. We've redeemed ourselves by narrowly missing out on the Premier League. And we finish with an FA Cup and the Europa League. Here are the celebrations and festivities. Rashford lifts the trophy. The Red Devils finish the season with a smile on their face. Winning 3-2 on penalties. And here is Eric Ten Hag's stats. As we move in to Season 2, let's see how we did. Unfortunately, after 38 games, we did worse than last season, finishing in 4th. Manchester City won the league, taking it from Liverpool. Arsenal, surprisingly, finishing in 2nd. Chelsea out of the top 4. We won the Community Shield. Unfortunately, we didn't get to the FA Cup final. Spurs won it. We did, however, win the Carabao Cup and the UEFA Super Cup as well. Let's have a look at our Champions League form. Season 2, we top our group H with Leipzig, Milan and Rangers. A super tough group. Moving on now to the first knockout round, the round of 16 in the Champions League. We get drawn against Napoli, beating them 2-1, ultimately on aggregate, going to the quarterfinal round, where we faced Rasenball Leipzig. Red Bull, we beat them 4-1 on aggregate. We take a place in the semifinals, being drawn against Bayern Munich, and we win 4-0. Chelsea beat Real Madrid as well, and it's a all-English Champions League final. Really tough draw against Chelsea. Chelsea have massive European ped pedigree. But so do we in our own right. We go to the Metropolitana down in Spain. And we face the Blues. 30 minutes in. It's the newly signed man, James Madison, on the breakaway. 31 minutes in. Scores for Chelsea. Instant impact. He does look good in a blue kit, though. 1-0 down. United need to respond. Veghorst slips through Anthony. Will he get the assist? As Anthony one-on-one -on -one smashes it past Mendy. And there's still a little bit of life in this Champions League final. We're leaving it late. It's 1-1. Anthony looking to score his second with a great ball over the top. Slips through Veghorst who hits it into the open net. This guy has been outstanding, scoring in two European finals. 2-1 down, Sterling slips through Osserman, another newly signed man, and Chelsea come back into this one thanks to their two signings of James Madison from Leicester and Victor Osserman, the Nigerian international from Napoli. After 120 minutes, we go to another European penalty shootout. We won a penalty shootout last year. Can we do it again? As Sancho steps up and smashes it to the left of screen. Jorginho now. Misses with David De Gea in goal. Eriksen steps up. 
converts. Chelsea now. We've already missed one. They don't miss the second. Osserman with an outstanding penalty. Veghorst with a spectacular penalty. James Madison scoring earlier in the fixture. Little bit fatigued. Goes to the right of screen. And Anthony, after scoring earlier in the match, has an opportunity to win it. The Brazilian hammers it home for United's second European trophy in two years. Celebrates ecstatically. The crowd goes crazy and United win the Champions League final. And Vegost, the Dutch international, will lift the trophy after dragging this team to two European trophies in two years. Unfortunately, we couldn't win the Premier League, but I'll take the Europa League and the Champions League any day. After two seasons, two domestic cups, two continentals, it's a shame we couldn't win the Premier League, but that's just how the realism mod is sometimes. Unfortunately, everyone, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name is Ben Simpsey. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.